Hi, I'm Andrew Metric, and I'm a professor at the Yale School of Management. So it's been seven and a half years since I filmed the lectures for the global financial crisis. Why come back to it now? It's March 2023, and we just had the second largest bank failure in the history of the United States, compared to the first largest bank failure, which happened during the global financial crisis. Not only was it large, but it was also very interesting and very illustrative of the way that banks fail. I think there's four big questions that I hope people would get out of this module. The first is why did it happen when it happened? Was it just a sign of mass hysteria just showing up at one time? The second question is why did the government do what it did when it did it? Third is, after you've answered the first two questions, you start to wonder, is this the right way to organize a financial system? And then finally, what can we do to keep something like this from happening again? And should we do all the things necessary uh, to keep this from happening again? Did the government bail Silicon Valley Bank out? Well, we have to think about all the different parties to this. Silicon Valley Bank had depositors, it had shareholders, it had bondholders. Some of the depositors who weren't being promised that they were going to get paid back did. So it's legitimate to think of that as a bailout, but I wouldn't think of it as a taxpayer bailout. It's not coming out of the pockets directly of taxpayers. It's just like you would have a toll road charging the drivers for the upkeep of the road. Ultimately, it's going to be bank customers that are paying to bail out other bank customers. Well, I'm delighted to hear that. I'm delighted, you know, for myself and for my co-teacher, Tim Geithner, that people have really wanted to engage and understand this even so long after it happened. So for those of you who are coming from the course, thank you very much. Uh, and thank you for continuing to engage with the community. And I hope that you will find the lessons of Silicon Valley Bank help you to get an even deeper understanding of what happened in the global financial crisis.